Here we are in Shingleback Wines, the beautiful little wine cellar in the McLaren Vale, the home of the red wine. Now, Kim, firstly, I want to say thanks very much for being involved with sponsorship or support for It's the Pits Party. Now, can you give me any good memories of uh, the Pits Parties that you've been to in the past? Well, um, first, first, Kim, welcome to Shingleback. Thank um, you. Uh, I'll introduce David, who runs our facilities down here, restaurants and tasting rooms. Uh, question, Kim, about my memories of the Pitts parties. They're fairly muddled, to say the best, but um, I remember having a great time for many years with you, so uh, really looking forward to uh, being involved and being there on the night. Yeah, look, I, I've been... It's been a very humbling experience, actually. I posted um, on Facebook about a month ago and the response has been absolutely amazing. Uh, within four hours of putting together a little Facebook post and saying that we're going to go ahead and do it, we had 60 members. We now have 238. We've got um, 148 tickets wow. pledged already. And um, I think Corona, we're going to put Corona to death. Um, That's, uh, it's really not that surprising, Kim. There's so many people in Adelaide and now probably from all around the world that have uh, great memories and remember the, the camaraderie and the friendships that they've created at the Pitts parties. Some people um, probably had children um, resulting from the Pitts parties. But um, good on you, mate, for turning it on. And Shingleback is really looking forward to uh, providing the wines, sharing our experience of uh, our wines and... Um, can't wait again for the night and for uh, everybody else to try some of our wines if you haven't tried them before. Yeah, well thanks Kim. Once again, Shingleback have been very generous and what you've got in front of you here is a selection of six bottles of Magnificent Red. I'll give you a secret, my, my favourite is the Gate. Now David, could you just give us a bit of a run through on the product that we've got on offer at a very, very, very special price? Yeah, no worries, Kim, and uh, thanks for letting me be a part of the video. I'm not, I haven't been to any of the parties, but I've heard a few stories about them, so probably don't want to be told on camera. Uh, but when you came along and said to put a six-pack together, I thought we'll put us a little selection of different things and different styles that Shinglebacks done over the years, from the from the start of our range down to the Red Knot, which the GSN now saying it's the start of the the range. Uh, it's, they did really well in 2016, won three trophies at the Royal Adelaide Show, so uh, it's still even though. It's the lower end of the range, we still take pride in those wines. Kim and John, uh, being the two owners of the company, pride themselves on not making, doesn't matter about the premiums, right down to the bottom, uh, winning trophies and awards. So, a uh, nice little selection of the GSMs, the Grenache, Shiraz, Mouvedra. <coughs> a little staple of uh, varietal, soft, subtle, light style. A bit of a coffer, probably good at the party, because yeah. if you drink a lot of wine, you're going to drink a lot of GSM. Yes. Uh, <coughs> the next one's a uh, Mataro. So, Mataro. It's quite a vigorous fruit and generally used for blending in the old days. So right. Sit on a table, you'd be sitting there looking at Shiraz and the, the winemakers would blend with it. But nowadays, people are looking for different styles and different varietals. They're looking, this is a nice little medium body, good fruit, good flavour, start a bit textural flavour coming through. Uh, so it's a nice little varietal there. <coughs> the next one's a Tempranillo. And a Tempranillo is going gangbusters in the, the uh, restaurant and uh, bar club because it's a very medium body, high intensity fruit, black currant cherry sort of flavours. But it goes with any sort of food dish, so it can go with spicy dishes, pasta dishes, chicken dishes, <coughs> steak dishes, so it's a bit of an all-rounder, that's why it's, it's quite prominent on bar lists and things like that. The next couple of years, obviously, the local heroes, which is Shiraz Grenache, and uh, what John's done there is his little idea is showcasing the two most prominent fruits in McLarenville, one being Shiraz, everyone in McLarenville does Shiraz, if you don't do Shiraz in McLarenville, you're not sure why you're in the game. Yeah. Uh, and the other one's Grenache, now obviously, again, like Mataro, it was a bit of a Blending wine 20, 25 years ago, it wasn't prominent on wine lists, it was used for blending. But in the last 20 years, it's gone bananas, and it, there's a lot of wineries around McLarenville doing straight Grenaches, and we celebrate Grenache Day in, I think, a few weeks. Uh, right. It's, it's a Grenache Day. Uh, so we use about 80, the, the Grenache around McLarenville is about, can be up to 100, over 100 years. I think the one we use is about 80 year old. Uh, we don't have enough of it to do a single variety of Grenache, but we blend it into two, just to showcase the two most prominent fruits in McLarenville. Yeah, the local heroes. And I can't really talk too much about the gate. Oh, <laughs> the gate, my favourite shingleback wine. Yeah. It, it is magnificent. Um, now, if anyone, if they haven't tried it, let me tell you, that is the one you got to get on. 
So this one here, the 2004 Gate, obviously is one of the biggest selling wines within our membership base mm -hmm. uh, because it's a, just a different style mm. of wine. It's a nice little subtle blended style. And uh, this one here, 2017, is probably one of the highest awarded wines in Shingle Pack. So yeah. Yeah, I'd like to take all the praise, but it was nothing to do with me. I'd sell it. Uh, but it's kudos to the, the owners and Kim and John and Dan, the winemakers, to put the blend together. And it's won such an amazing um, array of medals and trophies uh, for the 2017, so to the point where I've only got a few boxes left. So it's lucky that I've actually given you oh. this wine in the packs because I've down to the bones on it. Is that right? Uh, but it's still available for the pack, so it's in the pack, so you can still get it. So I'm being a little bit lax, probably I'll run out of it if you go hard. And then obviously the Cabernet. So the Cabernet Sauvignon D blocks is the, the high end fruit. So basically, what we do there is you, we pick a select parcel of fruit, obviously row D. Uh, on the vineyard, and that gets a softer ferment, it gets newer oak, so about 60% new oak for longer, about 24 months as opposed to our dairy estate range, which is about 16 months. Right. And then two to three year old oak, much subtle, much intensely fruit. Think about uh, Cabernet, it's quite a small skin, thick skin, uh, so quite intense, that black currant cherry coffee flavour. So it's a nice little array of the range, and I'm, I'm really proud to showcase it to you, and I hope you guys enjoy the wines when they, when they purchase it online, which is no, it should be 195, and I think I've got it for 135. So yeah, uh, pretty good deal. Kim, I've already, I've already got the pack, and Kim, I'm, I'm, I've drunk most of it. Can I jump in and uh, say that I hadn't actually seen the pack before, and what a great job you guys have done oh. to put it together, because it's a classic snapshot of McLaren Vale. We've got some new Spanish and Italian varieties. Um, we've got the Shiraz Staples, um, a wine here, D-Block, as David said, the flagship of our company, actually won a Jimmy Watson trophy. Right. And for uh, anybody that's never seen the Jimmy Watson, that's the actual trophy itself. And uh, the GSM being another um, classic variety from down here. So great job, guys. Really nah, cool. No, thanks. Hey, guys, can I take this one home? Because no. This, is, oh, this is a big no. one. <laughs> I'm happy to use a paper straw. Um, no. But Kimbo, again, thanks very much. And the other thing too, is not only do you have a great cellar door here, you have facilities to do functions. We do Ada. small functions, we do small functions. We've got a wonderful small restaurant, great concept, where um, you actually sit in the kitchen with the chef, groups of up to 18 people, and um, just phenomenal food and phenomenal setting to be able to sit with the chef. And uh, David manages everything down here. I'd like to say one more time, Dave, thanks for uh, how, you, how, you, how you get your job done. And great job with this, guys. And just one more. Tell me. One more. About six months ago, we came down here for the seafood special. Let me tell you, if you've got people, six to eight people, the chef, oh my God. We had stuffed barramundi, we had prawns, we had... Um, calamari we, we had everything and i tell you a great value and of course you do a vertical tasting with the uh the wines as well so it presents really good value so if you get a chance and you want to impress some friends from interstate overseas bring them down thanks guys really appreciate it and good luck, thanks Kim. shingleback good luck for cheers bye-bye ciao guys cheers